What's up, everybody? We have AJ here, and he is from Washington, D.C., and as you can see, he likes, he likes the golf. He was just telling me how good he is at golf. Um, I know that's like the that's like the cardinal sin. No one says they're good at golf, right? They just like, everyone's like, hey, I'm not that good. I could be better, and that's what I've noticed. But um, so he's been crushing it with sports cars, and he's here to tell you a little bit about his story. So I'll just go right into it. So tell me the beginnings. So you joined our program, obviously. So like, when did you join? What did you know about sports cards? Did you even know there was money in sports cards? Did you try it? Did you fail? Like, tell me the beginnings. So the beginnings was, I used to be an avid collector when I was younger in the late 80s, early 90s. I'm 47 years old now. So that was when I was a teenager, probably right become a teenager. And I collect a lot of cards and then I just threw them into storage. And then I had to clean out my storage probably last summer. And I found all this, these cards, and I want to know what they were worth. And there was a bunch of what they call junk wax, right? It was a yeah. junk card era, era. So I looked at kind of the modern cards today to see if people were making money. And during COVID, it was making a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to get into it to see what kind of additional, obviously passive income, but additional income that I can get to kind of offset some of uh, the activities that I do personally, as well as with my kids, such as additional vacations. So mm -hmm. I started looking into the programs that were out there and I found MLP, right? So kind of started in October. I didn't know anything about cards, especially modern. I knew a lot about the junk card error, but they weren't worth anything. Those were yeah. like PSA 10s. And it was hard to get PSA 10s on the older cards. And then I kind of met your partner and then met you and joined and wanted to see where it went. I had some seed money that I kind of allocated just to get back into the hobby. And I've been doing well with it ever since in terms of turning cards, looking looking to kind of get the gym mint 10s on PSAs and then yeah. playing them through Facebook groups cool. or, or eBay. Sweet. So what was your... So how did you discover us? Was it like a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad? It was an Instagram ad. And I ended up biting the bullet and calling to see what you had to offer, what it was all about. And, and you guys kind of walked me through it. And with your guarantee, mm -hmm. I had nothing to lose. So I tried it. And your system and your process and procedures, it, it works. The only thing you have to do on, on the personal level is be consistent and that's the key that yeah. you guys kind of reiterate that it's not like uh you put you, you get into the program and you start making money and doing nothing you have to put work into it and you can be consistent and i found something that i like to do that i've always liked to do so looking at sports cards and getting paid for it was just a recipe for success for me mm -hmm. cool and so what, so you knew there was money in sports cards and like, what, what was your opinion when you were first joining? I know you said the guarantee, obviously we do the guarantee because, you know, it just takes the risk off of you and puts it on us. But like, what were your honest thoughts? Were you like, ah, this is a scam? Are you, were you excited? Were you nervous? Like, what were you thinking? So I, I was nervous because when I hear programs like MLP, I always thought initially that it, it might be a scam, right? But then when you put your your guarantee on it. And I was watching all your videos in terms of what to look for, the training, right? Kind of getting into the, the Eric Michael kind of mentality. <laughs> yeah. It just got me more comfortable along the way, yeah. right? Got more comfortable. The coach met with me weekly. I was able to text or send Discord messages whenever I needed help. And either you answered or Joe answered or another coach answered. And it got me into kind of a battle rhythm that I never had, right? It's like when you play golf, right? Consistency to get better. Same with sports cards. You gotta you gotta be consistent with what to look for, what to not look for, kind of ensure that the centering and the condition of the card are all there. And I didn't know that before I came into MLP at all. Yeah. I would just sit, hey, here's a bunch of cards. Let's just send it to PSA and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, 
Yep, people uh, people have come into our program. They're like, I sent 100 cards in the PSA and only two got a 10. I'm like, two got a 10? What? Were you sending like cards from 1940? Like, what were you doing? Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's I tell I tell people this, like people think it grading sports cards is like, you know, lock or random when it's not. It's like a very tangible skill. Like I tell people, they don't believe me, but I say it anyways. Like I use grading sports cards to pay for college at Rutgers. And even though I was in state, Rutgers is not cheap. So like- it works like it's a very t- it's a tangible skill that you could learn and make money with but so many people and if you ever see my comments and my ads like this shit's a scam blah 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 you can't make money with sports cards but like you could um the reality is you could but okay cool so a little skeptical um you joined october so right now where we're speaking it's july of 23 so you joined october of 22 so like tell me about the money you've made i know you told me like you rent you ramped up just like anyone else in the beginning you make a little bit and then you make more and more and more and more so tell me about that like how much have you made how much have you made in the past three months what's the ramping up process look like in terms of the money you've actually generated yeah yourself? so f- when i first got started so i'll kind of bottom line up front probably yeah. total profits to date is probably if you're enjoying the content of the video and want to learn how to make a side income with sports cards, I spent the past three months putting together a training to show you exactly how it's done in detail. Sports cards has allowed me to live a life beyond my wildest imagination, and I'm thankful for the hobby every single day. That is the reason I teach sports cards, and I'm so passionate about it. At the end of the training, we offer a paid program where you can work closer with me. However, I do not want you joining until you've watched the training I put together. It will show you exactly what's inside the program and how to make money with sports cards. And from there, you can make an educated decision. If you'd like to sign up for the training, either scan the QR code on the screen or text the word ERIC to 973-755-9486 or click the link in the description. Just to repeat it, if you'd like to sign up and watch the training, scan the QR code or text ERIC to 973-755-9486, or click that link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. 10,000 and growing. I mean, I got a stack of, two stacks of these PSA, these are all 10s. Nice. Uh, Soccer, football, basketball, based on which MLT, MLP tells you to buy, and I get guidance from, from you and Joe in terms of, if the car looks good or doesn't look good, and then since the PSA, get a 10 and then flip it, right, immediately. So about 10 grand, but when I first started in October, just like anyone else, I didn't know where to start, right? Cars were kind of hard to find because when you look for a card, you would always be either overcautious on the condition or undercautious, right? At, yeah. at first... I first got into the game, I would just buy and just send it to to PSA, not knowing the condition of the card, dimple surface scratches. But learning your process and procedures, I got better over time. But I wasn't better. I wasn't good at first. I would get PSA sevens, eights, but then Joe helped me along the way to kind of look for the perfect card and take risk on and. I started making a lot more profit. I think initially I was probably making 40, 50% profit, but now I'm making 100% profit and about 10K and growing. And yeah. So when you say like 40% profit, you mean if you spent $1,000, you would generate about 1400 off that thousand. Correct, correct. So correct. About 400, but now you're almost or roughly doubling. doubling. Doubling my money, yeah, every time. Got it, okay. And like, curious, so like that one stack of cards you just showed me like that big stack. How yeah. much money did you spend on all those cards? What's the projected you're going to sell them for based on the comps right now? Um, like, tell me about- the one stack that I've prized because I'm still working on the other stack today, it's about six grand worth of cards. Okay. And I will probably make a hundred percent off of that. So you spent probably. about 3000 on them. Yep. You're in yep. for about 3000. And when did you, how long did it take you to make that, to like get those cards back and like make that money? not sold yet, but they will be soon. Like how long, when did you buy the first card in that stack? Like, so I bought the first awesome. card probably last month. And then those were, some are bulk orders, some are kind of the regular PSA submissions. 
So some, the, the regular took two weeks and then the bulk took five weeks. So, yeah, so like roughly, roughly a month and a half. Month and a, so a month. So basically a month and a half, you took three grand and turned it into six grand, essentially. Correct. Keep it simple for the audience. Um, okay, cool. Well, that's not bad. And I tell people this all the time, like sports cards is, is a funny business. Like there's good, there's right, there's good and bad. The bad is it's like the wild west, right? It's an unregulated market. People are going on in these random Facebook groups and trying to scam people. But honestly, these scams are easy to see. But the good, because it's unregulated and it's new and like there's not a lot of competition, you can take three grand and turn it into six grand in a month and a half. Like unless you get lucky on like a stock, I don't know any other business you can actually do that. Um, and it's tangible, right? Like realistically, you don't need to develop any softwares, websites, run ads, have meetings, clients, none of this crap. Like you really just need your phone and an internet connection or a laptop and an internet connection. That's 100%. It. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vice president of the company and I do this as a, a true hobby and to kind of get additional income. And with the profits, I'm taking my kids to Disney World next month for a week. That is nice. <laughs> so, I, I was just there. I went to... Uh, Went to Universal for a day. You know, I, I don't do well with. I went on one spinny ride and it just screwed me up the whole day. So make yeah. sure if you make sure, be sure your kids are good with that because I'm not. Um, yeah. But okay, cool. And then what? Uh, out of that whole stack you just showed me, what's the one card you're gonna make the most amount of money on? I'm curious. Probably the Brock Purdy downtown PSA ten. Would you pay? I paid nine hundred for it. Comps right now are between 2000 and 2400 Solid, solid, not bad. Okay, cool. And before I let you go, I'll leave you, I'll leave you off with this question. So what is, so you obviously had success. Like what is the number one thing in the program that you think helps you out the most specifically? Like why are you seeing a lot of success? Like what did you utilize? Like what has made you successful in the program? I'm curious. So there's two things. One is you got to be consistent, right? You got to you gotta keep doing it, right? It's like playing a sport. You're not going to be good if you don't practice. You're not going to be good if you don't kind of get that repertoire in. Consistency is one. And, and the second one is you utilize your coaches. They're, help, they're there to help you be successful. You're there to help your students be successful. So yeah. Those would be the two things I would reiterate to, to the audience is consistency and larger coaches. Gotcha. So it seems like you're a big fan of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. I am. I am. And, I, and I've developed good relationships with my coaches, Joe, and he's a good dude and he wants to make sure you're doing the right things to, to be profitable. Yeah. yeah. Joe, Joe's good. Well, I appreciate it. AJ, I know you're a busy guy. I appreciate you taking the time. I will give this a post to probably my Instagram and maybe Facebook group. I'll throw it in the Discord. So if you start getting random messages from people, is this a scam? Sure. What do you do? How do you make money? Be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no worries. But I appreciate happy, it. Happy yeah. to kind of help market uh, MLP because it it helped me be successful in cards. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you for thank you for coming along. Okay.